welcome back to sharing with charlotte my name's charlotte welcome to my channel and today i'll share with you five reasons how herpes can be life-changing in a good way okay reason number one is herpes can really hold up the mirror for you why not use herpes as an opportunity to get really curious about yourself and about healing that needs to be done Herpes brought up a lot of things that I was suppressing. And in my journey from shame to sharing, I definitely worked on those things. These were things that I was dealing with before I had herpes. And then when I got herpes, it was like, they were right here. Reason number two is that herpes can guide you on your journey to not caring what other people think. Doesn't everyone want to not care what other people think about them? Literally sharing your herpes story or literally just being able to like own your truth and not care about what, what someone else thinks about who you are or things that have happened in your life is so freeing. Also, I'm really into mindfulness and, and mindfulness is all about non-judgmental awareness, but it also teaches that we're humans, we're judging everything all the time, mostly so that we can like stay alive. Just knowing that people are always going to be judging you. That's never gonna change. We judge ourselves, we judge everything. We, as soon as we look at something, we judge it. Judging isn't gonna go anywhere. Just having this awareness that people are always going to judge you, no matter what, herpes or not. Also, fun fact about humans is that we get viruses and we're susceptible to viruses. You getting herpes has nothing to do with who you are other than the fact that you're a human. Herpes has been around for millions of years. Herpes isn't going anywhere. You're a human and you got a virus. It happens. Herpes happens to humans. If you allow it to, herpes can guide you to your spiritual awakening. Awakenings come from pain. If you get super curious, about why it's causing you pain, whether that be emotional or whatever kind of pain it's causing you. If you get really curious about that and you follow that, it can lead you to enlightenment. It can lead you to your spiritual awakening. It can teach you the biggest, the biggest lessons of life, which is like surrendering and accepting and knowing that like shit happens. Herpes happens. Change is always happening. That's just life. It was a past moment, now we're in this moment, now we're in this moment. Change is always happening. The sooner that we can accept and surrender to change and acceptance of this present moment and our bodies in this moment, with herpes, without herpes, the happier we're going to be, the more at peace we're going to be. Number four is a good one. Herpes can be your guide to true connection. For such a long time, Herpes made me feel so alone. Not herpes, but the shame that I felt about herpes. It made me feel like I had a big secret, that I couldn't be myself, that there was always this part of me that I was hiding from other people, and I felt super disconnected from other people. Before I shared with everyone on social media, I was at this place where I was so disconnected. I had like put myself in a corner and like disconnected from so many friends and like not going out. I just felt I was keeping this secret. And from sharing herpes, I've got the most truest connections from sharing. Just from you sharing something that's hard for you to talk about with somebody else, there's something in their life that they also feel shame about that they may not be sharing. And when you share with someone, it gives them permission, maybe not in that moment, but it gives them permission to share also. And sharing is honestly so healing for everyone involved. By being open, by being vulnerable, that's how like true connection happens. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing and so freeing and healing. Okay, number five, herpes thoughts can guide you into realizing and understanding that the fear thoughts, the what ifs, the worst case scenario thoughts don't happen. I spent years thinking about being open on social media and none of those, none of those thoughts happened. The what ifs, the worst case scenarios, the rejection, none of those happened. The more that you can test that, it just gives your brain more evidence that like it's safe to share and it's safe to be vulnerable and it's safe to be you. It's safe to be you. And I feel like we're all on earth to like get to this point, to get to that place of like, 
I'm gonna be me and I'm just gonna be sharing and open. And I don't mean you have to tell everyone, but just whatever that means for you so that you can honor yourself, honor your truth and like reconnect to your essence. That's a beautiful, beautiful lesson. And finally, I just wanna remind you that true growth happens at the edge of our comfort zone. So if anything I've said in this video triggered you, of like, this girl wants me to tell how many people I have herpes, this girl wants me to say what, like, follow those triggers, get really curious about those triggers, and true growth happens at the edge of your comfort zone. When you're uncomfortable, that's when growth happens. I just wanna put this out there, but I truly believe that you're never given anything in life that you can't handle, and I just wanna say that maybe a part of your purpose is to end the stigma for all. I think we all have this beautiful responsibility that we can end the herpes stigma for everyone if more people just spoke up about what it was like. Because the reason there's so much stigma is because there's fear, because nobody talks about it. And the only way to end the stigma is to share. So I'm just here to propose to you that sharing can be one person or it can be on social media but you're brave enough to do it. Thank you so much for listening to this video. I would love if you could like it. If you would comment down below, that'd be dope. If you wanna add me on Instagram, that'd be cool too. Also, ooh, I want to invite you to check out my one-to-one -one HSV coaching program. It's four months long. I'm gonna take you from shame to sharing and everything in between. I'm gonna spill all my 10 years plus experience. I'm gonna show you what I wish I knew back then. Now I'm here and I'm gonna spill all the tea. I'm gonna give you all the gems and we're gonna do this together because we all can end the stigma for everyone. No one has to feel the way that you felt when you were diagnosed, nobody. And I truly believe that and I feel like you're watching this video for a reason and I feel like you have a greater purpose. We all have a greater purpose and a part of our purpose is to end the stigma for all. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.